for our latest interview, we speak to Andy Baxendale regarding his upcoming appearance at the World Confectionery Conference. We discuss his eventful career, talk about how the pandemic has been affecting his business, and also get his take on just why it's important to transfer skills onto the next generation of potential confectioners. So thank you once again, Andy, for joining us here today regarding confectionery production and the World Confectionery Conference, which is no happening problem. next year. Uh -huh. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a really special event for next year. But initially, if I could just ask you about how things have been for the business in terms of coping with the pandemic. Um, my own personal business, as um, inquiries have gone down somewhat, so uh, the work abroad has dried up. Fortunately, my involvement in Sweet Dreams hasn't. So um, apart from probably two to three weeks right at the beginning, at the end of March, around Easter time, when the factory was shut, it's been full on ever since. Um, it's, it's come back, the chocolate nibble sales are buoyant, and the pan inside the business is doing well as well, so happy days all around really. Oh, that's good to hear, and in terms of the kind of measures that Sweet Dreams and your own operations have put in place, can you talk about yeah, what you've I been mean, doing? Yeah, um, internally it's, it's an extension of all the PPE protective equipment in terms of COVID, so um, we're already hand washing, so more the same, S sanitization of, of hands, um, masks, more PPE in terms of that, um, gloves if necessary, separation and segregation in the factory, making sure no one's too close to each other, you know, so even two meters. And fortunately up to now, we've not had any uh, instances of it, so you know, it's, it's good, all good. That's very good to hear. And you say from our previous conversation that you've there's a good deal of resilience in the market. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, I think so. I think the uh, especially the sort of impulse cheaper end of the market, people look towards the cheaper treats. These uh, trying times, it was the same in the recession ten years ago, twelve years ago, whatever it was. Uh, so yeah, that end of the market. Also, there's a lot of interest in added value, vegan, um, dairy free, allergen free. Um, you know, more good for you type of products that got you know, less sugar in, not replaced, but just put less in, so less chocolate on the outside, more you know, high protein centers, things like that. So yeah, I think the market's healthy at the moment. And just coming on to the conference itself, um, how are you anticipating being involved with next year's event? Um, I'm looking forward to presenting on um, my pet topic of training in, for the industry and uh, how if, if we're not careful, it's going to disappear. We're not going to bring anyone new through, but coupled with education and the way sugar's been vilified all the time and they're bringing all a lot together really. I think it, everything is just you know, multi-pronged look at how, how we can save uh, uh, the industry which if we're not careful is going to disappear from the ground up. And on that note, sort of how vital do you believe it is that the next generation receive the training and skills in the sector? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very important because the way a lot of companies have merged, uh, a lot of the training and skills have been lost to redundancy and things like that. So a lot more automation, a lot more efficiency drives. Um, so yeah, it needs to be from the ground up. People taught how to make sweets in a saucepan again. Bacon, like to do with bacon. Bacon's never gone away. We need to reintroduce confectionery to the masses. Absolutely. In terms of your own, own involvement with the industry, uh, you've been in the sector a number of years now. What do you most enjoy about it? My favourite part is um, watching people eat something that I've made and absolutely love it. That's the, by far and away the most satisfying, so I'm just basically making things people like and get pleasure from. Very good to know indeed. And you've been, you've travelled the world in terms of projects and helping new product developments. Uh, uh -huh. Can you talk about some of your favourite experiences? Yes, I uh, went to Saudi Arabia teaching people in some shops how to make fudge. That was very interesting, um, total culture shock going to the country uh, in an interesting way. I've uh, been to the States a few times working on CBD and cannabis uh, related projects in gum and sugar candy and also uh, chewing on projects in Guyana, uh, a bit of licorice work in Sweden so yeah the variation is fantastic. That's good to know and then just coming back to Sweet Dreams there you've been in your present role for several years uh, what is the most challenging and enjoyable part of your present role? Present role as technical director of Sweet Dreams for the last three years. The most challenging part of the job is keeping BRC running, um, which is fine, it needs to be done. And the most enjoyable is the product development, again, going back to giving people pleasure from what they eat. Excellent. And in terms of looking ahead to 2021, how optimistic are you given that there are a lot of challenges in the market at the moment? I think the market is quite buoyant at the moment. There's a lot of um, 
niche and specialist type offerings coming through so vegans big um, added value in terms of you know extra protein or less chocolate or making things healthier um, allergen free dairy free that kind of thing all the, all the sort of niche specialist type things that are a bit different to the main market offering they're definitely going to come to the fore and that's good and on a personal level um, can you sum up you know what keeps you passionate about being in this industry um, no days ever the same the variety and again it goes back to at the end of the day giving people pleasure from making things you know that they like to eat that is their absolute ultimate satisfaction in terms of the conference uh, how important do you feel it is we have events that celebrate what's happening in the industry I think it's uh, highly important we need to keep it at the forefront of everyone's minds um, you know keep them enjoying the confectionery so they'd be sorry if it ever went you know if, if it became a historical fact that oh we used to eat sweets so yeah it's absolutely important to keep it at the forefront and also keep it involved in the debate of you know the, the healthy side of it living everything in moderation kind of thing that's a message that's got to get across as well you can't um, have people vilifying sugar with no comeback our answer's got to be well look it's not bad for you if you eat this much so yeah everything in moderation but yeah, ultimately these type of events have got to keep going keep confectionery at the forefront and in everyone's mind